some. And uh, with all these off days mixed in, and Sonny Gray's first pitch. Gary Sanchez will be behind the plate pretty much every day, and, and I think maybe it, once they get through these, this stretch of off days, Caleb Hamilton will get behind the plate, but kind of Sonny's catcher for the majority of the season. Breaking pitch, cut on and missed. But they, they've early expand late. Riley Green tied up. And a tag applied by Sanchez to complete fastball to get that thing to run back over the plate away to righties into lefties. And he's two different. Get ahead. It's a different story. 200 batting average, 500 some OPS. So if he falls behind, he's got to get back in the count. But ideally for Sonny Gray, get strike one, be able to do later in the at bat. And when I've talked to him, he, he's talked a lot about being able to land off the plate and try to bring it back over in there for a strike at 93. And when he missed at batter's box side of home plate. Flicked in the air to right field. Kepler comes in. Two outs. Here's Harold Castro, the first baseman, who committed an error in the top of this inning. Breaking ball, Castro's on a seven game hit streak. Rolled up first and foul. Back-to-back, -back, hold his own, bounce it off home plate. Right out to Carlos Correa. One, two, three for... Broke into the big leagues with the Oakland Athletics. And Miguel Cabrera rolls one out to Carlos Correa at short. One pitch, one nine child in Dearborn. Gray deals him a strike on a fastball. That's great location. Yeah, that's, that's the spot right there, and that'll open up. You know, like I said, being able to command that side of the plate, very important for Sonny Gray. One, one, low and away. Two balls, one strike. And that used to happen, and you see that basically every guy now gets shifted. It's very rare. As a pitcher, you got to be aware of that. A pop-up, right field, shallow, Kepler catches up. Five batters face for Sonny Gray. That was his 19th pitch right there. And, you know, Miguel Cabr Grossman, always a guy that's never has not been afraid to take a walk. Strike one, one and one. When he was a, a teammate of yours, 2016 to 2018 in Minnesota. Check swing strike, it's one and two. Yeah, good player, and, and like I said, patient at the plate. Utility guy in the outwork account, even this year, hitting only 207, but on base percentage 315, so above average there. Strike three called. A relatively quick blur was hit by a pitch in the top of the third inning and had to leave the game. Sonny Gray. Scope holds his swing. One, one. Two and one. A few more cutters from Sonny Gray early on in this game today. A couple good takes from Jonathan so far. Bouncing ball up third. What a play by Gio Urshela. The throw for Cody Clemens. Breaking ball, strike one. One and one. They got Polanco is closer to Kirilov out and right. Popped him up. Correa, the shortstop. On the in. Ball one. So, and, and this is, again, talking about nuances of the show playing in short right as if there were an overshift. One ball, one strike. Yeah, and, and so you get to a little bit, have a little bit more range, at, you know, at second base. That he'll still be able to make the throw, but 
a little bit extra deep at first base. Down and in, and Castro held his swing. Swing at one there. We'll see if he tries to go back inside, lock him up with that two-seamer. Three and two. He did. He hit. We're going to go back to the breaking ball now. Right to Polanco. And into the shift. Good. It's really good. Really good. Yeah. Thanks for the distraction on that. Uh, mm. Twins fans, the, the Twins will be back in Detroit. Sonny Gray's been dealing. Fourth inning now, Riley Green at the plate. Two balls and nothing to count on him. Wonder if he had one of Two and one. Somebody send a note down to the down to the dugout. Ball three, this is the first, the second make that. Three ball count that Sonny Gray has scorecard commemorate my first uh, major league series fouled away and now it's got mac and cheese and barbecue sauce fingerprints on it but that's all right that's you sauce yeah I, I wouldn't be missing anything that's for sure strike three called and sunny gray rallies check swing appealed to first base umpire marvin hudson who's the crew chief for next season Strike and it's one and one. Nice job by Sonny to get back into the count. All over the outside corner. Oh, that hit him. Javier Baez is the first base runner of the day. Harold Castro. Breaking ball strike, it's nothing. From the stretch, off the handle of Castro's bat. 13 and on a seven game hit streak. That tied him up. Appeal to third and Blackney pumps the fist. Gray picks up a strikeout. Ball one to Miguel Cabrera who grounded in five. One and one. Hall of Fame. Some really good seasons with the Brewers. Him, Robin Yellen. Well, you got to believe he's going to be 100%. Check swing, and again, Marvin Hudson, the first base. Yep. That's ball four. Strike one. The pitch. Bouncing ball back of home plate. The Tigers off the board here in the fourth. Ball one. Get the bats back in and try to put some more runs on the board. Bouncing ball and it's off the glove of Polanco and into left field. Baez is waved around. He scored. Bobby Grossman. And that breaking ball still hitting the mark for a strike on the first. Bouncer right back to Sonny. Look what I found. Shouldn't have taken this long to get him in there. And in the end, the most important thing is that that he got to go in that he got to go give his speech and hung. Jonathan scoped the batter and the 0-1 pitch is hit out to center field. Gilberto Celestino with room. That ball is just like the wind is blowing I guess out to left field. Strike called on Cody Clemens. The wind is always blowing to the outfield. Um, being a pick. Yeah. But no, there's no question that anything to right field is going to get knocked down. Ball to left, Mike. Air current goes through these downtown areas. It can look like the flags are doing one thing, but here it's pretty open. The one, two. Bit of a pause in Sonny's delivery there, and how about the play made by Jose Miranda? 
what they look like. And <laughs> <laughs> Willie Castro takes high. <laughs> so he's different from Glenn Perkins in that regard. Two and nothing. Well, he only got two gloves a year, so I think you got to kind of <laughs> try to make those work. Rocco wasn't afraid. He said his brother stole all his gloves, all his extra stuff. Poor guy. <laughs> Sonny looking for a three up, three down inning. One pitch away. A shallow right field made the catch. Strike three Ooh. called. He got him with a fastball. And a three up, three down inning for. He faces the Tigers' order for the third. E. Gray, Riley Green made his major league debut on June 18th. Nothing in two. Yeah, and early on, here's Sonny there, Riley Green, the, the first inning, it was breaking that ball out of his hand, recognizes the spin. Swing and a miss. Let's go down to Audra Martin now. It wasn't until he was in the clubhouse and the staff was collecting the pitchcom receivers that he realized that his receiver was still in his hat and now gone with the young man. <laughs> they actually sent a security guard out to look stuff. So uh, <laughs> lesson learned for Carlos Correa. Wonder if that kid has tried to listen in, see if it's uh, still working. <laughs> yeah. One and two. Three with 10 RBI. Two and two. Sonny Gray getting comfortable. Bouncing ball foul of first. Down and in. Full count. You got that one down enough, but you throw, you throw enough of them down there, and a guy. In that they're not expecting. We'll do the full count again. 3 2. Strike three Ooh. called. Blew him away with a heater. He's allowed. A rip from Castro. Nothing in one. It's clear. 0 1. Out to the gap in right center. Extra bases for Harold Castro, who has extended his hit streak. Brera. Chopper. Urshela. That's the third out. No runs.